this is a this is a story of a of a guy, a slightly nerdy guy, who becomes a kind of superhero through no fault of his own, and who has to learn that with with power comes great responsibility. What we talked about was what kind of world were we creating that in which Spider-Man could somehow exist. I mean, I think the difference between Spider-Man and maybe some of the other superhero films is that uh, Sam wanted a very naturalistic world, a, you know, a world of 2002. I mean, we did for a bit go on to the down the road of trying to make it very kind of trendy with lots of zips and it's going to be out of neoprene and you know it was going to be much flashier. One idea we had was to actually make the the head of Spider-Man slightly transparent. We For some time we were working on a sort of helmet, a semi-transparent helmet to, um, to Spider-Man and that was rejected because it looked a little bit too much like Power Rangers. <laughs> But we kept coming back to the to the actual drawings of of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is that illustrators cheat a lot. They can make the limbs longer. They can make the uh, they can make all the design of the of the actual spider costume. They can um, change it at will. But when you're dealing with a body, a three-dimensional body, it's much more difficult. So. But one of the ideas we had was to try and make the, the web itself just slightly three-dimensional, so that the so that the suit would have the would have the texture of the web, and that proved to be a really difficult thing to 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 achieve. The thing about Spider-Man was we've got nothing to hide behind. We don't have a cloak or a, even a belt, so it's uh, it's very raw. It's very it's it, it's it's, it's a difficult thing to then put wires and harnesses inside and make work. So we're concerned about its um, fragility. It's, it's necessarily fragile in order to be skin tight and yet it's got to be tough enough to withstand all sorts of things. What, we, what we've done with the, with the outfit is to overprint um, about 130 different silkscreen prints which create a kind of muscle texture over the suit. Um, it's quite difficult to explain. The idea is that the light and sh the shading that you see on the Spider-Man costume relates to the sort of muscle groups on the body and that they move with the body. So although the suit is two-dimensional, we get a slight optical sense of three-dimensional, three dimension by using this sort of printing, this overprinting on the suit. The favorite detail? I guess the eyes. We used lenses. We've used um, Oakley, the people that make the sunglasses. And we've used their lenses. And the way we're going to be doing white, and we're actually using quite dark lenses, but we're hoping with the lighting that we will re we will get we will get a range of colours in our eyes. They won't just be white or black. The thing is that this simple costume has proved incredibly difficult to create. We hope it looks very simple, but in fact, it's probably one of the toughest things I've ever had to do. I guess the best the best thing about the job is the risks that you take in the hope that you'll find the solution.